I have a quick minute, so I thought I'd pop in to Siobhan to get a hydrofacial in Skin Suite number two. Hey, Siobhan. Hey. So this is the hydrofacial machine. So this is me before. I don't know if you can see what my skin is like. I haven't actually had one of these for a while. The reason I like this treatment is because it really isn't sore and I'm a bit of a wuss. I don't like painful treatments. This one, you're guaranteed not to feel any pain. So we're just pre-cleansing the skin to make it perfect for treatment. Sweet. Feels like there's an exfoliator or something in this there. Yeah, it's the Zoe Exfoliating Wash. So it's based with a BHA, also known as Salicylic. So it just uh, perfectly helps to prep the cells, removing any excess oils just from the surface of the skin so that we can start working directly on the skin. So each step has particular tips. This creates the Vortex Fusion. So there's no knives or scraping or anything like that. So basically, I will be popping three different tips on, on different stages of the treatment. The first step is the exfoliation. This pops onto the headpiece, and then when we pop the machine on, it creates the suction. Schnaz. Cleaning out all the uh, gross, grossness on my face and pores. So we're prepping to get to the pores at the moment. This is the about removing that extra dead skin cells that's on the surface. So suppose when you're doing a hydrofacial, each step is getting further and further down towards the pores. Okay, so step two is the skin peel. Clever little piece of technology. I just pop it into the headpiece and distribute it onto the skin. So this step would help to further polish up the skin. We have AHAs and BHAs. I like to call them my little Pac-Men. Um, so we're gonna further remove some dead skin cells, some more stubborn, and then start prepping for the front door of the pore for the extractions in step three. And you said it can be, it can feel spicy this second. Yeah, just because there's a little activity from the actual acid. So you may just feel a slight little spice to the skin. Okay. Generally, people would say a number one, even if that out of 10. I'm already getting <laughs> and shiny. And that is step, only step number two. And check out that glow. Shiny face, how you doing? <laughs> So now we're going to actually work on the pores. So a lot of people know extractions as being them painful extractions where you have a person either use a particular metal tool and or their fingers, which can be known to be quite damaging to the skin, especially in the wrong hands. So the beauty of the hydrofacial is you've got your Vortex tip, your solution being salicylic. The salicylic helps to break up what's in the debris, or sorry, in the pore. So I suppose you could look at it like this. This is infusion, this is the extraction. So no pain. So no squeezing? No squeezing. Nice, I don't like squeezing. If you can see just the step that's been done here versus here, you can see where these pores are nicely cleaned out versus the oh, few yeah. that we have to do over here yet. So it's a great little tool, anybody would like playing with this one, but it's <laughs> all mine. We've removed the dead skin cells, we've polished the skin up, we've cleaned out the pores. Now we want to take the opportunity to feed all these new live skin cells with their superfoods. Main ones being your antioxidants and your hyaluronic. So it's infusing the skin cell, putting more water stroke hydration back in. I like to say it's like turning a raisin back into a grape. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give some energy to the cells. They've been lying underneath a blanket of dead skin cells. Non -oxygen, no oxygen sorry, has been getting to the cells. So if we say, for instance, use our blue light, that's about killing off bacteria because we have worked with the pores. So we want to make sure that we're reducing any chances of purging and or lowering any bacteria content in the skin. And then we have red light. Red light is most known for it's um, basically like recharging the battery in the cells. So they're not even touching the skin. Sometimes people feel more of a heat from the blue. It's just more about the wavelength into the skin. Red, not so much. So you'll notice my face almost looks wet, but actually it's uh, dry to the touch. That's, why is that? 
Well, dead skin cells don't give anybody a glow, so a lot of the time people would misinterpret it a dull complexion to be dry, where it actually just needs polished up. There's no point in carrying anything dead around with you, nothing dead glows. <laughs> So that's me done. Uh, thanks very much, Siobhan. No bother. Uh, you can see my skin is a little bit red. Yeah, slightly red. More of a shine. Can you see that? This is all the crap <laughs> that came off my skin. So that, that is how dirty my skin was before. Nice. Uh, but I need to go to work now, so see you later. Enjoy the glow. <laughs>